Hi guys, welcome to my beauty corner. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Tatcha. This is the Indigo Cleansing Balm. So I feel like it's been a long time coming for this product. I've been thinking that Tatcha would release something like this. I felt to myself like, oh, it would be nice if Tatcha released an indigo cleanser. I feel like it would be a really good product to add to their line. And it took a few years, but we're finally here. And I'm super excited to try it out. It arrived today. I got it from Sephora. It retails for $38. It's 1.9 ounces. So you know it's serious when I do a review. Here are my notes. <laughs> so I'm gonna read my notes as I review this product. I also have this little water bowl here. I'm going to wash my face here. <laughs> and we'll test this out after I kind of open it, talk about my notes and review it. And then at the end, I will give my final thoughts about this product. If it's really worth it, if you wish to go out and buy it. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to my channel for more reviews. I do have more content coming and let's just get into it. The Tatcha Indigo Cleansing Balm is a fragrance-free, buttery soft balm with Japanese indigo that melts to gently cleanse and remove makeup while improving skin barrier function for stronger skin from the start of your ritual. The indigo cleansing balm transforms from a soft cushiony balm to a silky oil that effortlessly melts away the day, removing dirt, oil, and waterproof makeup while restoring moisture. This soothing formula is crafted with Japanese indigo to visibly calm as it cleanses, replenishing the skin's moisture barrier for smooth, soothed skin. There are two featured ingredients in Tatcha's Indigo Cleansing Balm. The first ingredient is Japanese indigo extract, which improves skin barrier function and visibly improves irritated skin. And the second ingredient is cleansing lipids, which gently but effectively remove long wear makeup, waterproof mascara, and daily buildup with cleansing lipids that rinse completely without leaving a greasy residue. So my first impressions of this, it is pretty small, <laughs> I'll say, but I do love the beautiful color of this product. So Tatcha often ties its products to ancient Japanese history. So regarding the indigo cleansing balm here, during the Edo period in Japan, so samurai wore a layer of indigo dyed cotton beneath their armor in combat, this is known as Japan Blue, and this rich dye was also used for traditional firefighter uniforms and presented to newborns in the form of a blanket, and this symbolizes a testament to its protective qualities. Throughout Japanese history, indigo has been used as a holistic aid for various ailments, including the calm and cold, sterilization, helping to stop bleeding, repel insects, and regulate the body in severe temperature changes. So the Tatcha Indigo Cleansing Balm talks about improving skin barrier. So I wanted to give more insight on that, like what does that really mean and why it's important to improve skin barrier function. So I found a quote from a medical research journal. So I wanna see if I can throw that quote up there for you guys. The skin barrier is important to human life. Physically, it protects from external threats, such as infectious agents, chemicals, systemic toxicity, and allergens. Internally, the skin helps to maintain homeostasis and protects from enhanced loss of water from the body. And homeostasis just means that it stabilizes conditions for the human body. So the skin barrier is the outermost layer of your skin, and it protects from environmental threats such as allergens, and pollutants. And furthermore, as mentioned, it maintains water balance. So when we become stressed, a weak skin barrier lets moisture out 
and irritants in, leading to blotchiness and dehydration. But a strong barrier ensures nothing gets under your skin, no allergens, pollutants. A healthy skin barrier keeps moisture in and irritants out resulting in smooth radiant complexion. So the last part of my notes, which I have, there was a study done on this product and there were 40 participants with an expert grader. 100% of the participants agreed it easily removed long wear makeup and waterproof mascara. 100% after one hour of washing their face showed improvement of skin moisturization. And lastly, 100% after one week showed improvement in skin smoothness and in skin barrier function. So I will say that is a lot of claims for a cleanser. I am very intrigued to try this out and see how it works for me. All right, so before I try it out, I'm gonna look at this little notebook here. It says to use, glide the round disc around the surface until the cleanser reaches the line. Massage onto dry skin using circular motions. Rinse off with warm water. If you have the Tatcha Silk Canvas, it uses that similar disc to kind of measure out the product. And it, it also helps so you don't have to use as much either. So with this product, it's saying to fill the line with this side here. I do have the suggestive ritual here. So in the suggestive ritual, it says purify it with the indigo cleansing balm. You'll start, this is your first step. The second step, you will polish with the rice polish. And here's the indigo one here. Plump with the essence, this one. Okay, and then it says moisturize with the indigo overnight repair. And as you see, <laughs> mine is pretty much gone. Oh, I guess I'll read this here. I thought this was interesting. This is on this little sheet here. For years, Tatcha founder Vicky Sai was plagued by flaky skin on her face and body, finding little to no relief in Western skincare. Through her research into classical Japanese beauty rituals, she encountered a Japanese farmer who soothed his similar skin condition with a simple soap made from his own indigo crops. Vicky knew she had to share the gentle efficacy of this beloved botanical. Honestly, it sounds like the founder really went through it with her skin, but it's really good that, you know, she created Tatcha to really fix her needs. That was very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna use the indigo cleansing balm on my face now. I actually haven't washed my face today, so I don't really wear makeup. So what I'm gonna do to really see like, okay, how's this working? So with like the Camellia cleansing oil, to another Tatcha cleanser. That also breaks down makeup and sunscreen. So I'm guessing that you can, this is pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna take this, the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face and shake it up here. <laughs> Cause this is a mineral sunscreen and it's tinted where I like it and it's not super sheer on me, but it does leave like a cast. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here. All right, let's see, how's it looking here? Yeah, you can definitely tell it's there. So I think that's just my goal. So we're gonna see how well it's gonna take it off. I took enough here so that it's pretty much on the dotted line here. So I'm gonna massage it in circular motions. I'm just gonna rub it in my hands a little bit. It's pretty much that. Um, I'm just gonna take I guess I'll take just like a little bit, dip my fingers in this water and emulsify this balm. Yeah, so it really looks like it's coming off. Do a little bit more water. All right, so it's looking like this and I'm just gonna take a little cloth here. Okay. It did a pretty good job. Yeah, the sunscreen is pretty much off. Yeah, it did very well. All right, so I'm just feeling my face here. It's pretty soft to the touch. You can tell that I, 
I have a little glow. Uh, I'm gonna be a little full of myself and say I do have good skin, but yeah, I think it's giving me a nice little, you see, see a little glow there. All right, so I'm gonna finish my face. I guess I'll just do the indigo overnight repair as a second step and finish my routine and come back and give my final thoughts on the indigo cleansing balm. Okay, so I just put on the indigo overnight repair. I really love it as a night cream, but for the sake of this video, I'm, I just used it right now. This is pretty much my skin after those two products. Very hydrated and glowy. Now, my final thoughts for the indigo cleansing balm. So as I mentioned right out the gate, I first of all think it's pretty small. You really are not getting that much product here. I really think you'll fly through this if you use this day and night, even if you're using the little disc they give. And then I feel that the packaging, I really like, the, the component feels pretty nice but I don't know if this component is that practical. So you have this little disc here to measure, but I do think that it's pretty easy to lose this disc. Like if you lose this disc, then you'll end up swirling your finger around. This disc is for sanitary reasons and for measuring the product because like there's not really anywhere you can put this disc. You have this little seal on here you put the disc in like this, ultimately you're pretty much gonna discard this seal. And what I do for like my silk primer here, I just kinda place this disc on top. So I'll probably just do the same thing for the Indigo Cleansing Balm. But again, I feel like you can easily lose the disc. But I think a pro of the packaging is that it is pretty good for travel. I have a little Tatcha travel bag with me that I like taking on little trips. I feel that this Indigo Balm, although I have a lot of stuff in here, I feel like it fits right in and it's pretty easy to zip up and take along with you. I really like the texture of this balm. It's very silky. I feel like I haven't really tried a cleansing balm in a long time. I think I had like a little like travel sample of some something. I can't even remember the brand, but this just feels very silky. It just pretty much glides right onto your face. So I enjoy using at night Tatcha's Camellia Cleansing Oil, but when I run out, I think I will use this when I run out because it really does a good job like for taking off my sunscreen. It did amazing. So I feel that for makeup, it will work pretty good too. I wanted to mention that most of my notes are from Tatcha's website and the website also has more information if you have like heavier makeup it says how to use this product so will i purchase this again i am a tatcha fan and i will say that i do enjoy a lot of tatcha products and there's some tatcha products i could go without but this one I think I would get it again. I think if I were to get it again, it would be for traveling because I think this is pretty good to take on the go. And I know this product is $38, which is a little bit expensive for a cleanser, but out of Tatcha's like other cleansers, such as the Camellia Cleansing Oil here, it is cheaper because this is $50. As I said, this is $38, so it's a little bit better, but I do think the amount of product is a little smaller. If I could rate this product out of 10, I think I would honestly give it an 8.5 out of 10. So let me know if you will be picking up the Indigo Cleanser. And if you have any questions about the product, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this has been like really highly anticipated for me at least. <laughs> I wanted this product to come out for so long. And it's so good that it's finally here. I really think that people with more sensitive skin that also love Tatcha will really enjoy this product. Please let me know of other products you want me to review this year. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. 
and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye guys.